Shoo! Well, folks, just got a call from my buddy Brad the Builder, and uh, he says the basement got over dug, and we have to dig out in front of the stoop uh, for the new gun safe that we're putting in there. So it was kind of ironic, you know, because Brad the Builder, he's, he's been chirping me saying, Andrew keeps throwing all my curveballs here, and I just have to keep making all these changes because Andrew keeps making all these changes. So listen, Brad. It's payback now. Even though it's not, it's not really payback, I can just talk a little bit of smack because somebody he hired, he's responsible for, overdug the basement. And he called Beefcake Construction LLC to come and fix it. He said, you know, we can get a guy, but he's delayed. I don't know what's going to happen. We really need it to be backfilled ASAP. And, uh... So I said, all right, Brad, okay, I get it, okay? You did, I'm not gonna make you beg for it, okay? I get what you're after. You're calling me saying you messed up and that Beefcake Construction needs to come save the day. I get it, Brad, I get it, okay? Uh, I mean, I'm being sarcastic right now. I mean, I'm not being sarcastic. Brad did call me, but I just have to throw a little bit of shade at Brad, you know, just because, you know, he was, he was, Rainer keeps throwing on me all these curveballs in his last episode. So I said, okay, here we are with the curveball. Now guess who's calling me? to fix the house that he is building. I'm excited though. I, I really actually do appreciate Brad letting me come and be a part of it. Not a, Probably not a whole lot of home builders really beefcake construction uh, within a hundred miles probably of their of their uh, build site. Uh, but Brad said you can come down, bring your equipment and uh, and get it, get it all backfilled and fixed up and ready to go. So although I'm gonna chalk this up as a dub for me because I feel like it's Brad versus me at this point of who messes up when. I, I've got like 69 mess ups right now. Brad has zero. So I'm gonna go ahead and just chalk one up for Brad and just saying, just saying that not everybody's perfect. Uh, but if you guys wanna watch some of Brad's videos, uh, if you guys already know who I'm talking about, Brad the Builder, he's my he's my builder, he's a good friend of mine, uh, but he actually has a YouTube channel now. And uh, he's been making a bunch of videos, him and I have been going around doing tours of $8 million mansions he's built before. Um, you kinda get to see a behind the scenes of all my projects of my house getting framed and we're designing the cabin for the ranch and we're doing a whole bunch of other stuff. So link down below will be his channel. You can go check it out uh, and go subscribe if you guys like it, if you guys like the construction stuff. It's not just my stuff. He's been focusing a lot on my projects because that's really what's going on. But I mean, he's remodeling houses, he's demoing houses, he's putting in pools and spas and he's doing all sorts of other stuff that you'll see, even some tips and stuff for, you know, you guys first time home builders or maybe you, you're a contractor yourself and want to pick up a couple tips. Uh, the, you know, Brad's been building houses for 30 years. He knows a thing or two about building custom homes. So anyways, his channel will be linked down below. But with that said, I got to call the boys. We got to get uh, get everything fueled up, greased up and ready to go. Probably not going to get there today, uh, but I just want to give you guys an update. The camera's in the truck. He called me. I should have recorded the phone call. I didn't realize that it was going to be a big problem, but it was. I, I, now I'm regretting not having the recording of Brad calling me and asking for help. I really wish I had that. Uh, but anyways, I just want to give you guys a quick update. Uh, I'm headed back to the house. Now we're getting everything greased up, loaded up, ready to go. Tomorrow morning, rise and shine, folks. BSK Construction LLC is going to be fixing my house. Can you believe that? Stay tuned. We are back at the job site, ladies and gentlemen. Beefcake Construction has been hired to help with my house. I know, Brad made a fatal mistake. He'll be here later, but we just got back out here and Jake's already in the mini. We got the mini ready. We're gonna dig out the front stoop. You guys saw that in the video about the uh, the gun door, the gun vault video. We're gonna dig it out, but then Papa Beefcake's on his way now. He'll be here about an hour and a half, two hours with the dump trailer and the skid loader. The thing about that is I hate that dump trailer for driving the skid loader because it's super high up. It's really scary climbing up and down. So what you do is you make a loading dock that the skid loader can be above the, where the trailer is and drive straight on it or flatten it. Well, we just showed up and I said, well, this looks about right. This right here, I know elevation on camera is not very good, but here is about a foot and a half lower than that. So you can see we already got the berm here. What we're gonna do is build this berm up basically all the way there or we'll dig this out, one of the two, maybe a little bit of both. Chad's gonna kill me, because he went our, it's not graded perfectly, we're gonna have to regrade it anyway, but so what we're gonna do is we're gonna build a berm here, so when Papa Beefcake gets here in two hours, he can pull the truck down, swing around, pull, and he'll back the trailer just like this onto the berm, and when you drive the skid loader off, it'll just be a straight shot, instead of when you're looking up at the freaking sky and rocking around, that's just when accidents happen. I'm trying to be safe out here. So we got the mini out, and we're gonna go ahead and try to get the berm built kind of around here, maybe dig this, I might dig this down a little bit, throw that dirt up there, get that, pack it all in real good so Pop Beef Cakes here. We can unload the skid loader, and then what we're gonna do is, uh, if you guys saw in the other video, and I'll show you here in a bit, the basement, 
got what they call over excavated. It happens. It's not. It's no. No one's fault. It just basically, we got to backfill it. That's what you do when you build stuff. So down there is where the pond is going to be. So you guys know the whole thing's going to be pond. Like this triangle all the way. That'll be pond. Well, that's the dirt that Chad used to build all this up. Oh, I just got dirt right in my and topsoil everything. So we got free dirt down there that's already ruffled up and smoothed up. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the truck and the dump trailer. You guys know me and dump trailers. We go hand in hand. That didn't sound good. So we're gonna try to avoid that happening this time. Back the dump trailer all the way down or just drive it and flip it. There's a nice and flat out there, Chad made nice and flat. Back it there, use the skid loader to load the dump trailer. Bring the dump trailer up here, park it right where that truck is. Dump probably five or six dump trailers worth of dirt and then we're gonna try to build a ramp into my house. So I'm I, Beefcake Construction, Brad's trusting me with a skid loader inside my house. Meaning if I do one wrong turn and hit the wrong beam, that whole thing will collapse. So I have to actually pay attention today, believe it or not. So we gotta build a ramp. It's gonna be really low clearance, it's gonna be really close. We're gonna drive the skid loader in there, one bucket at a time, and fill in the dirt. We've got wheelbarrows and shovels coming too. So basically we're on backfill duty. We're on backfill duty and then we have to dig out the front stoop, which is where my new hidden gun room is, which you guys saw earlier. So anyways, we're grabbing dirt there. So right now we're gonna get on building a berm duty, building a loading dock duty, get that thing wrapped up. Once that's done, we'll head up top. Maybe we'll start digging up the front stoop by about that time. Pop Beefcake will be here. Beefcake Construction LLC is gonna be moving some dirt today. You stay tuned. Loading dock is ready. We got the uh, mini. It takes takes a while with the mini, but that's all we have right now because the loading dock is actually for the, the skid loader itself. So smooth it all up, made a little loading dock here so that way we can just back the trailer right onto it, jump the skid off, it'll just make life easy. So we're gonna, Jake's gonna take that up. We're gonna start on the excavating the stoop, the front of the stoop. Oh, I'm saying stoop like that. Um, get that done, that's gonna take some time after you see how long that took. I mean, that was like 45 minutes. That thing's convenient, it just don't move a whole lot of dirt quickly. So anyways, I'll probably get my truck out of the way here and we'll get the front stoop excavated. By then, Pop Beefcake should be here. You can unload it, we'll smooth it all up. I ain't gonna leave it looking like this, but it's a lot easier with the skid load, that's for darn sure. And then we're gonna start hauling dirt, running dirt back and forth. We'll have to have these guys move their truck, run a bunch of dirt, five, six loads, and basically back to the basement. Again, I'll show you that. They're running saws right now. It's the only reason why I'm showing you inside the house because it would be, it'd be like, that's what it would sound like, because you wouldn't actually hear what I'm saying. That makes sense. Anyways, Jake's gonna go ahead to the top. Let's go ahead and get that stoop excavated. We are at the front of the house now, so this is where we got that, where this is the gray concrete, the non sealed concrete. We gotta excavate all the way down to the foundation. Oh, it's not that bad, it's flat here. I bet I can sit here, put it down, dig out. Dig yourself a flat spot here to yeah. get to. Yeah, it's not all. I've seen, I've seen worse. It's gonna take a minute. What I would like to do is position the mini so I can pull like this. Like this is gonna take me a long time. So if I can get the mini down in here, maybe I'll do that wall first because that's the longest wall. Because I could do the, the other way. I'll just come around there. And then here, I could, I might just have to kind of pick at this one. Come like right there. Right there and pick it. But if I can get the mini here, I can pull my bucket and then you don't, you then just throw the dirt up there. It won't be that many passes. And then go that way. And then I might just have to crawl. You can come around from the back. Or I can go around from the back. Yeah, can I make can I make it? I can come down this hill. With the mini, it's not as bad. Now, I could worst case I could come around, I could crawl this hill here. Like go around here. Oh, you could come from here, for sure. Oh yeah. I could probably come around here and then take the mini. Put the mini, I guess do they need this board with the asking? Yeah. Put the mini here, and then yeah, and then I excavate. I can excavate the rest. So I don't think it'd be it ain't rocket science, but beefcake excavation, we'll get it figured out, so. All right, well, let's get this job site cleaned up and it's the dirt move, stay tuned. All right, beefcake excavation. Pop beefcake called me, he is on the way. He said it was a heck of a time getting it loaded because he had to put it in the dump trailer and that thing sucks. That's why we built the loading dock. This bad boy fired up. In case you guys are wondering how to run this sucker, this sucker brings your boom up. 
that curls out, curls in. Here's your little thumb, thumb control. This thing pushes your bucket out like that. And then there's how you drive it. Oh, this this thing lifts, lifts that. And if you want to spin it like that, you get these buttons. Grab it mode, turtle mode. Rev it up, baby. That's what I'm saying. And then this drives it. So. You guys get the idea, so. All right, let's crawl down there and get some dirt moved. Man, it's steeper than it looks. You guys are probably like, why are you being a weenie hot junior? That was, I was giving her a hell of a lean there. I don't know if I'm gonna have enough room. This thing seems small. I might have to, I mean, I can go straight, tilt my arm and run it. Ideally, I wanted to have the tracks facing this way, but I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to do that and then have enough room to dig. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go straight, try to park, at least I'm gonna do this. Move this bad boy over here. I'll actually get my weight up the hill, which is what I'm after, so I don't tip. Because right now, if I put the boom on the other side, I should just rev this sucker down. So now I'll go like this. I shouldn't fall. That's a steep hill, though. I know you probably don't look like it, but it's, I mean, I'm doing one of these right now. See, now we're, you can see the hill there. So we're getting this pull up here. Okay, tilt my arm. That. Keep driving. And you see, I'm getting close there, so just a little more. Yeah, like that. Lower my boom down for stability purposes. Now, this thing will actually move. So I can actually go like this, and then get the bucket to be perfectly parallel. So essentially, now I have to just dig that out and throw it up there, and we'll be good to go. Excavation! Look at that! We pretty yeah. Yeah, we, did, we forgot the shovel, but man, we got we, we ran into some frost. Believe it or not, there's still fr it's still frosty out here. I mean, I was able to maneuver. I had to kind of make myself a pad because it was like this. Blow it. I mean, we're getting better at the mini. We're get, we're getting it. We might maybe let's get a big one. I think that should be next. But this is where it gets frozen because it's on the north side. So I don't know if I'm. This is rock hard. Like this? Well, that's not. This is right here. This is that's frost. That's a yeah. Oh, that that's a hard one. Here you go. That's, oh rip, why'd I do that? Yeah, this doesn't see sun in the winter, this corner. Oh, that was a nice, good idea. So I can't really get, it's just this wall and a little bit on that corner, it's frozen. So, I mean, I got quite a bit done. I mean, that only took, what, 45 minutes maybe? Like we did pretty quick work. Pretty quick work. What we'll do is we'll probably let this heat up the rest of the day, maybe before we leave. Pop Beat Kicks bringing some actual shovels. We'll try to shovel the rest of it and then maybe finish it. Otherwise, I'll just leave the mini here and come back maybe in a few days. And just all I gotta do is that because this starting here I can actually I can actually finish that today we'll let it heat up a little bit but you can see all that moisture see you don't want that sleeping through into the pew room anyways we'll go ahead and get this wrapped up Pop Beefcake should be here any minute we'll get to dig it so stay tuned Shoo, Pop Beefcake got the skitty he's bringing it here we'll see you think we're a little higher now I'm gonna have to use the mini and shave it off let's get a little dump trailer it's just not the strat it's just a terrible company. it's just there's way too much weight and it's way too high in the air and, ooh a little high. no I don't think so yeah. keep going a little more. He's just gonna scrape it. A little more. All right, that's all he can go because he's hitting the bottom. Perfect. All right, we're good. We did good. Put your e-brake on. Man, look at how did we get it down to the centimeter? Literally. You've loaded that space here a couple of times. You knew exactly the right height to do it at. We were within an inch of the right height. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. I was worried it was gonna be too high or too low. Yeah, you should just be able to drive it right on and off. The, yeah, that's that's you gotta get get one of them in your life. You got dump trail, you need one of them. That's the first time we've ever done one. I think we might build one at the house tomorrow just so we've got because like the dump well towing with the dump trailer is not fun. But sometimes when you need the dump trailer, it's better than taking two trucks, right? Like it's not the most enjoyable thing to tow around, but if you need the dump trailer and you need the scale loader, then obviously it makes sense. So you got one of them little loaders and you're uh, you're in business now. So what we're gonna do is head down to Chad's dirt site. We'll load the trucks up, bring it up here. 
we'll dump, I guess, yeah, we got pretty, cl we'll go clear a little space over there, but we'll, see, so you can just leave your ramps yep, yeah. right, right where they're at, and, and pull right away. man, that makes life easy. I mean, that, that dump, that we should have done that a long time ago. I just kind of, I kind of forgot about it, but. So we've got everything I think we need to hopefully get this thing taken care of. So we'll head down, get it filled with dirt, stay tuned. Still too wet, ladies and gentlemen. The truck was spinning, and uh, you guys already saw what happened the first time uh, that I used this thing to haul dirt on my truck, and uh, we're not trying to have that happen again. So we are gonna do the responsible thing. Instead of giving her hell, we are gonna dump it, and uh, hopefully just get the empty trailer up there. I mean, sheesh. That might even be, to begin with, I mean, it's just, it's just, you think the trailer in general? I mean, we can dish the trailer, we don't need the trailer. Uh, yeah, we can take that back on the flatbed. We're gonna have to leave the mini here anyway. If we, we want to leave the trailer, just so we don't have to worry about still not being able to get up with the empty trailer. You can get, you can get a whole lot of traction when that ha when that's happening, that, no. or just let it dry out and we can come get it later. I don't think empty. It's got enough to pull you backwards, like to jackknife it. No, I think you it'll just get stuck. Lock all the brakes. We'll come pull it out. I agree. All right, go. Ahead, let's go and dump the dirt. We really like wasting time out here, so we'll leave the dirt. It's just I mean, this is crazy. It's greasy. We'll get rid of all this dirt and uh, hopefully get the empty trailer back up so we really gain no ground. And then what we're gonna do instead of robbing dirt from here is we'll just, where we built that perfectly new loading dock, we're gonna tear that loading dock out and use that dirt because Chad can always backfill my back. I mean, we're gonna put a pool in so they're gonna have to excavate that dirt at some point too. So it's not really gonna matter. I was trying to be nice and not mess up my perfectly groomed backyard that Chad left me, but I'm sorry, Chad, we're messing up the entire backyard. This stuff's very wet. Dude. It's super, Look at it. it's just yeah, it's super damp, it's heavy. A lot of moisture. Sad about our loading dock. I know, I have to build a new loading dock now. That's a nice dirt. But you look at that and that's unpacked. We have a lot of dirt where that loading dock is. Yeah. I think we got enough to probably about yeah. do it. I'll just start digging holes. Oh golly, this truck ain't even gonna pull the, an empty trailer. Get on it. I mean, I can push with the skiddy. Wow, this is impressive. Shoo. Man, this is not good. We better drop the stinking trailer. Not much at all. I mean, you're pulling an empty trailer, really. Yeah, there's not enough dirt in it now to probably make a difference. We can. Yeah, there ain't. You got the majority of it out. I need, do I need to push? Is that Come what on. He's back. Wow, buddy. Keep going. Keep moving. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. We made the right call dumping the dirt, I'll tell you that much. Oh golly, he's just gonna get that sucker stuck. Yeah, nice. The trailer's staying here today. The trailer might be structure. Structure. Uh, yeah, I, mean, I don't know if we have a choice, to be honest with you. Wow, this is impressive. This is, yeah, we ain't moving any dirt today. No. That's about the best he's had, that's the best run he's had so far. We might get out, the transmission ain't gonna be working, but. Hang on, you want me to just dump the rest of the dirt? Yeah, that's picking up the back of your truck more than you think. It's picking it up. All right, we'll lower it down. So get Philip the bed full of his, full of his bed full of dirt and give him a little, a little weight against it. Push, push down on it with the <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. He's going. It's crazy that little bit of dirt was what was holding him. He's going. We might want to shut the. We might want to shut those doors though. I know. He's got he's a. He's got a wide load. Yeah. Why don't you, let's. Hey. There he goes. All right. Go shut those doors. All right. Well, I guess I'll see if uh, 
Let me get the truck up. All right, well, I think we're gonna try a new road. We came through there, but it gets real steep. And it is wet right here too. All right, we'll give her hell. Well, oh, he's already slipping, this ain't good. Where's, no, where's he going? No, where's, is he on the trail? Oh, maybe he is on the trail. Oh yeah, I think he's good. Oh yeah, get that momentum, buddy. We gotta shoot this gap right here, baby. And then we're home free. It is wet right here though. All right. Shoot the gap. Let's see it. Let's see it. Yep. Look at that. Give her hell, Junior. Give her hell. Don't let off the throttle. Keep her going. Oh, I think we might be good. It's dry right there. Let's freaking go. Oh yeah, there's no way we would be doing that with loads of dirt. Look at that hill right there. Shoo, we made it. I cleared some of them trees for him. I knocked that one off, so did the job. Oh, I got a tree dangling. Hang on. Get that off of there. All right. We're just gonna go steal the backyard dirt. So we should have done the first place. I was trying to be a nice guy and not ruin Chad's perfection, perfect flat backyard, but that's what we're gonna do. Buckalos, maybe a dozen. So this was, if you saw the first video, this is our ramp. Look how close it is. I got about three inches on that side. I didn't hit it yet. No. Can you believe that? Well, you did hit something. I hit something, yeah. <laughs> Don't tell the framers. Actually, I'll have to go ask them if we can fix it. I mean, it's not that big of a deal. Just, you know, this thing. Hey, it was a shoddy nail job is what it was. No. What Them nails, I blame them. Them damn framers. Them damn. I see, I use the skillet. I'll push it right back. I just tweak the whole wall. And it holds up that fairly so important. The, actually, it's not bad. Like that's, it holds up this beam, the 50,000 pound beam or whatever, 5,000 pound beam, not 50. Yeah, it holds that beam up, cause this, it's attached to this, which holds that up. They left it too long, damn it. So this is what we have done so far. Quite a bit, actually. That went fast. I mean, I was like, what, 30, 40 minutes? That was you running all the way out there. Yeah, so, so Papa Beefcake, he's he's getting trained on the mini, just like you. So I was like, oh, this is a great time to yeah. get, get some practice. And so what we might do is come in here with shovels and kind of pack it all in like that. But this is what I was able to do with just uh, running the dirt. Papa Beefcake was practicing with the mini, loaded up a dump trailer, so that shortens my trip by probably 50 yards one way, so 100 yards. Saves a little bit of time. Yeah, it's squishy. Yeah. I made pretty quick work of it. I can't believe guys get paid to sit on a tractor all day and do that dirt. So Is that fun. the easiest job in the planet? Oh my God. I, lo I love doing it. It's, it's like headphones? Yes. It's like Planet Giant. <laughs> yeah, it's great. Awesome. I know. I, I love it. So, yeah, see, I can pack here, but I don't know. I, Brad might tell me my my floor might not be. How do you pack this? You just don't and hope for the best, or what do you think? You just have to drive over it, put your bucket down. No, I can't. I mean... I can't, sh I can't shrink my tracks. No, you probably just have to overfill it and push it as hard as you can. You can get like little vibrators. You might need to do that. Because I wouldn't trust my packing. So we're going to try to get, I mean, what you have will do the rest of it, I think. Here, and then we have to do a little bit by the movie theater. We're not going to do that. Because he thinks something with the, the septic, they're not sure about it. So so I just got to make it to here. So all I got to do is complete, complete my road. So I think we're good. Yeah, I think we'll get in here. Let's get in here with a shovel and start... Like there's a huge hole there. By the way, the amount of like Red Bull cans oh, late, God, that I buried, I just left. I was like, the men's. A hundred years, someone's gonna tear this house down and be like, Red Bull? What's Red Bull? <laughs> I thought about this earlier, but can you imagine how nervous Macy would be right now watching you drive? Oh, and I'm hauling your, ass, bro. I know, I'm flying. In bunny mode. Oh, it's on rabbit mode though. I don't, I don't go with that turtle mode. No, we're in bunny mode all the time. Imagine. I hit this corner. I'm drifting. I'm drifting. I'm flying. Did you I did flip that. Flip that. I'll get the framer to come help me fix it. But How many people can say they drove a skid steer in their basement? That's what I'm saying. BK Construction, you just hire us, you need your basement looking like that, you call me. <laughs> I'll get it done. All right, so Pop BK, he was like, said he's practicing, but him bringing that dirt to me, that'll probably save me 30 seconds per trip. You know, you do 10 trips, that's three minutes, guys. Time is money, all right? So we're gonna go ahead and dump this load here. That's probably maybe four buckets. 
Five. Five yeah, maybe. Four, five. So not bad. We'll see how far this gets us. It'll be pretty darn close. Uh, yeah, I think actually, yeah, it probably will be about right because the movie theater doesn't need a whole lot. So, all right, well, let's get this done. Get the rest of it moved in. Call it a day. Stay tuned. Is still real fluffy. Can't really pack that. We left it a little. It's a little high right it now. seems a little high, but I think that's good. Yeah. Let it settle. We then come back with a vibrator and really pack it in. We'll leave them a little pile of dirt too, so that way if they just want to wheelbarrow it in here and really spot. I mean, you have to fill that at some point. So either we are gonna have to come back or someone's gonna come back and fill all that. But for the most part, you can see that black outline. We got most of that covered with with soil. A little bit of a low spot here, but I think for the most part it's close enough. I, I only hit. <laughs> I only hit it one time. Drywall cover that. The mems, right there. That's the it. That's it. Besides, well, besides hitting almost the wall and drop, this was dropping, dropping the entire, the, entire the, the main level down. Carrying over that a few times. So I'll need. Like, the, you could gone wrong in the title on this one. Oh god, yeah. Oh god. Yeah. This thing still needs to be tweaked out, but it's not bad. So that's done. Now we need to fill in by the movie theater. So this is the movie theater right here, and it's sunk down. But this little gap right here can be filled. So we'll uh, start taking uh, maybe three, four, five bucket loads, flatten that out, smooth it all out, and we should be good to go. actually anti-excavated, packed back in, still squishy, but we'll bring some tampeners and we'll make sure that's, I did the the heavy lifting. The workers just gotta make sure it's, I guess the builders gotta just make sure it's, you know, OSHA approved, not OSHIN. This is OSHIN, we need OSHA, okay? So I, I'm tempted to ask the framers, they're busy though, they're doing the roof. I'm tempted to ask them <laughs> what they think about all this, but this is looking pretty good. We got most of this backfilled, all, that's what it is, excavated and backfilled, that's it. All mostly backfilled, you guys already saw that list. We'll come back, well, we won't come back. Somebody else is gonna fix that or get that done. And then all these green marks is plumbing. Now we were gonna do it, I was gonna do it. My mini will not fit through that door. So we have to go rent one. And at that point I was like, just have your normal plumber guy do it so he does it right. Otherwise my pipes would be doing one of them numbers. We're not about that. So basement's looking good, it's coming along guys. You guys saw the first video, we got the gun room. You guys are new here and this gun room was an afterthought. So I, we had them <laughs> cut a hole in it and we've got a 240 square foot gun room. That is, that's what this is gonna be, it's huge. It's massive and it's gonna be concrete above it. Like literally concrete above it, that 16 inch thick concrete, 10 inch concrete. And we're gonna have a bookcase. You pull the book and the door will go whoop, right inside, have all the pews. In case the boogeyman comes, we got a place to hide. So that's complete, movie theater's complete. I made an absolute mess in here, but I don't feel bad about it because they're gonna have to make a mess anyways when they come and trench that out. Then we'll have somebody come out and smooth it and make it look nice and pretty. So hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Although it did get over excavated beefcake excavation backfill llc to the rescue always comes in handy so hope you guys enjoyed today's video we'll catch you on the next one and peace